All right, guys, so today in the studio, we have a Formula E race car from one of our engineering teams on campus. Um, it's a student-run club, and so from scratch, they designed and built this Formula E race car. So today, we have it in the studio to do some studio photography with it. Uh, we'll get a couple shots of it, and we're gonna run you through what we're gonna do today. So um, to start off, we'll run you through our setup. So we've got our car centered here on our black, um, and then we set up four large C stands with a 25 foot silk stretched across the top. So that'll act as a giant soft box like they do in commercial car photography. Um, and then we have a light mounted on a boom up top, just as one top down light source. And that's what we'll be working with today. Um, so that's our lighting setup. As far as our camera setup goes, we have it back here. So we have a Canon camera on, um, a small tripod taped down to the floor so it doesn't move at all. And then we have it set up with some pocket wizards so that I can trigger the camera without having to touch it at all. So I've already set my focus on the car. Um, and from here, we're gonna start taking some photos and we'll run you through how we do it. So here we're ready for our first shot. We've got our camera dialed in. We've got our lights all set up. So we're just gonna take our first shot. This is gonna be a plate. And this is gonna be the main photo that we work off of. Um, and once we get into Photoshop, we'll see any issues with it. And that's why we're going to take other photos around the car, highlighting different parts, um, and we'll be able to Photoshop it all together. Here we have an 8x8 scrim. Um, I noticed on the camera that the top light does a great job of lighting the whole car, except for the hood. There's a really large hot spot on the hood. So we're going to use this as another layer of diffusion, getting really close to the hood. That way we can get rid of that glare and Photoshop that part in where we need it. So we're just going to lower this right above the hood right there. And we're just gonna take a couple more shots, make sure we get it. A little higher, and then tilt my side down, your side up, and then same thing on your side. And then one more right there, and one more tilted down, and one tilted up. And I wouldn't stand there if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the hood of our car taken care of off of that base plate. Now we're gonna light different, different parts of the front of the car. Um, we're going to start with the nose right here. Um, knowing that we have a top-down light, we're probably going to have some shadow underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this bounce underneath here, and this should light up the nose of the car for me. So we'll take a couple shots here just to work with those shadows. Okay, that should do it there. Um, now we're going to come around and light some sides of this. We'll do one on the other side. All right. And then now we're gonna work on the wheels. So um, being that it's a top-down light, it's gonna be lit up top. We're not gonna have any light down here below or on the edges here. So what we're gonna try and do is make it so that in Photoshop, we can get a nice light edge on those wheels there. All right, and then we'll place this right in front of the wheel for one so we can get that light underneath here. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the chassis. We're gonna come over here and just make sure that we can get enough light. So we're gonna use the back of this whiteboard here. And we're just gonna set this in here and make sure that we can get some light bouncing back up into the shadows here. And then also, we're gonna get shadows down on the bottom side of these um, side panels. So we're gonna move this around and try and get some bounce onto different parts of that. Right in line with the wheels there. And the reason I'm moving it around so much on this side is so that in Photoshop, and once I pull the photos up, I can find the shadow that matches the one on the other side, and then I can Photoshop them together so the shadows are equal on both sides. We're gonna use these Aperture MC Pro little light panels. Uh, we use them all the time here in the studio. They're great to work with. So now we're gonna switch over from using a strobe to doing a long exposure with these lights. And then in Photoshop, we can blend different aspects of color um, and strobe and light and shadow all together. All right, we have two under the hood lighting the tires and then two in the side panels so that it shines out the front a little bit. And then we're gonna add this one into the cockpit or the driver's seat. Just to add some color to the headrest and this white on the, the racing chair right there. We just used a little bit of um, atmosphere spray so it's basically like mist in a can. So what we did was we just sprayed it under the hood and under the wheels, um, and that way we can get a nice little plume of smoke coming out from under the car, lit up by that blue, 
And then we can add that touch of color in the photo when we're done. Okay, so we have one of our students here. She's dressed up as a race car driver. We're gonna have her jump in the hot seat. I'm gonna have you put these shoulder straps over you. You don't have to buckle in, but we just need these to go over your shoulders there. So then there's one on this side too. And then why don't you tuck your hair behind your head? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap up now. Um, Sydney's done a great job in the driver's seat. Uh, today we learned a lot about reflections. Having a white car is kind of difficult to shoot, but having a really nice big light source um, is extremely helpful. Uh, we'll jump into Photoshop, throw all the photos in there, and we'll composite everything together. We'll call that a wrap for today. And then I went through and selected uh, the best 20 that I want to work with to highlight different parts of the car. So as you can see here, we have that base plate, that very first image that I talked about, um, and then the hood of the car with the scrim over it, so it gets rid of that glare. Uh, and then just working through different parts of the car, like the nose, the sides, the tires, and so forth. So I've got those opened into Photoshop. And I've already cre created my composite uh, with all these different layers, but I'll run you through how I did it and show you an example of what we did for each layer. So starting off with our base layer, uh, this is just that very first image that we took. And then on top of that, I put this second image showing the hood right on top of our base image and you can see how it evens out the hood but I still want everything else to be left alone so what we do here is we lay that on there we create a mask and then I just mask in the hood of the car so that's this white spot right here that is just revealing the hood of the car in that image that I put over our base image um, so you can see there it just fixes the hood right there like I want it to. And then moving forward, we have a hood copy, and then I just adjusted some color right there. And then we work on the right tire edge. We'll click back and forth on that a couple times so you can see it. Um, and then showing you that, we're just using this little spot right here on the outside of that tire just to get that white highlight on the, on the outer rim of the tire. Um, and then a little bit on the nose just to bring in some some highlight into the nose. Uh, clicking out of that and I'll click through the rest of these so you can see the different parts. So we're bringing in that and then under the nose, that right body panel, left body panel, uh, the driver's seat. Just brightens it up a little bit how we had that board there. Now we're going to bring in some more detail to the tires. And then we have our blue lights here. So we're showing those. And then we have our helmet on the tire, but I decided not to use that in my final edit, so I'm going to leave that uh, unused. We have our driver here, and then on this one, I didn't like the facial expression uh, in this first image, but I like the posing of it better. So what I did was I kept the driver there, and I took the face that I liked and photoshopped it over uh, the main pose of the driver that I liked. That's our final uh, composite there. I just darken these numbers a little bit. We darken the floor um, and that's all photoshopped together. And then lastly I just went in and removed some of these scratches. So I'll show you those. You'll see those slowly disappear. That's our final image there. I'm ready to export this and save it. Uh, so thanks for following along and this is how we photographed uh, our car in the studio today.